It's so fun, you guys. It's so fun. Listen, don't worry about wearing a wig. Don't worry about it. If you want to wear a wig, you wear a wig. Have some fun in your life. We need fun in our life. We have to be serious sometimes, but we need some fun in our life. <laughs> Beautiful, silky, luscious, glamorous wig known as Belinda by Envy. What a difference a wig makes. <laughs> we could make a song out of that. Today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite wigs. Her name? is Belinda. She's white and light gray. She's straight and she's beautiful. So there you can see the beautiful Belinda in all of her loveliness. For those of us who are silver, gray, or white and are looking for quality silver, gray, or white, or combination thereof, wigs. Be careful. There's a, there's a lot of imitations out on the web, always purchased from a reputable, a reputable company with a good reputation. You're probably going to pay over $200 for a decent wig. In my opinion, I wonder why you clicked on this video today. Are you dealing with hair loss of any kind, hair thinning, alopecia? Maybe it runs in your family, maybe not. Uh, perhaps the after effects of cancer you may be dealing with. If so, I'm sending you my hugs. Or maybe you just want to try a wig and see it, it, what that world is all about. Let's take a look at the inside of Belinda. She's beautifully made. You can see that she is a lace front. And the lace goes temple to temple, very well made. Very light, it does not scratch, and I never feel uncomfortable when it hits my skin. She is open wefted, allowing for good hair circulation. She does have some permatease under here, not too much, I mean, honestly. You wouldn't even know, but she needs to have a little bit, otherwise she would just be looking too flat on the head and it wouldn't be a good look. She has buckle adjusters, so you can go up or down one half size. Very comfortable. She weighs about, the specifications say 4.6. So I think she looks very realistic. You are seeing some shine on her from the lights above, but I'm telling you, she's really not a quote, quote, shiny wig. The shine looks just very much like regular hair. It doesn't look like that plastic, synthetic-y kind of shine that we sometimes see on less expensive wigs. Truly a glamorous wig, lightweight, that you can wear all day long and just feel really glamorous. Do is I just pull my hair back in a little, a little teeny tiny bun <laughs> and the wig will grab onto that. You're going to need a few bobby pins. You might, some ladies, some people like to use a wig grip. A wig grip is basically just like a hairband with Velcro. And for some magical reason, it keeps the wig from moving. But I have yet to use a wig grip. I just bobby pin it into my, into my own hair. Um, but some people do need, do, do need to use a wig grip. And then sometimes I use a little bit of It Stays. Sometimes. And I'll just put that right along the perimeter of my hair. Um, if I'm going to be moving around a lot, maybe I'm going to a wedding, I'm going to dance. And that really, really is great. And even though it's, it's body glue, it's water-soluble, comes right off. When you come home, you just moisten your fingertips, 
you push them right up underneath the wig, kind of roll your fingertips around a little bit, doesn't hurt you, doesn't hurt the wig, and the wig slides right off. It's magical, I'm telling you. Okay. Okay, so she's sort of on. So what I'm doing now is I'm just pushing that little bun right up inside. So now I'm just grabbing the edge of the wig where the lace is and I'm just now going to get those ear tabs. The ear tabs have little tiny little metal pieces in them which I love because you kind of push them in towards your head and they lay nice and flat and you can feel them. Okay. I think it's a pretty realistic hairline. So uh, she's on, and let's just give her a comb. I'm using a Jean Renault wide tooth comb. You want to have a few of those around your house and in your purse. A couple things I want to say about the wig while I'm combing her out. She is not shiny. If you're seeing a shine, it's just bouncing off uh, the, the, the light, the natural light that's coming in from the window. But you can see how just beautifully fine and silky the hair is. She's very, she's really very, very realistic looking. This color is light gray. And I mean, it's very light gray. It's it's kind of a it's kind of a silvery gray, but more white than silver. Um, so if you like white, you will like this wig. If you if you're tending more toward the steely gray, I don't think that this wig is for you, unless you just want to make a change and go and go to white. Now, so I think she's just a beautiful, beautiful wig. A very long sweep, which I love, of side fringe. So we're going to have to we're going to have to train her a little bit with some hairspray. So I'm going to use my faithful Tresemme. Sometimes I use got to be glued too. Just depends on where I'm going. But look at the layering. Look at the layering. How the layering just frames your face. I think that's beautiful. Now I do have, my, you can see my bio here, here. I could, if I wanted to, just kind of get some of that bio. Look at the difference. Look, I'm still, I still have quite a bit of silver. I'm a silver white, but it's, it's just so difficult to find wigs that have the perfect marriage of silver and white. So you see how that did? So if the wind blows, it just makes it a little bit more realistic. One is mother of pearl and one is rhinestones. Let me show you them side by side. Here's a fresh look at Kristen. Isn't she gorgeous? I'll link her down below. See you next time. 
Thanks so much for watching. If you like, please like and subscribe. And remember to take good care of yourself and take good care of your crown of glory.